All right, let's say that we never want to worry about key switches again. Is there a way that can be done without having to buy anything, wait for a library, uh, for a um, expression map library to be released, or say we're not on Studio One's new system, um, but we're in Cubase and we just don't want to worry about key switches ever again, even in the VSL, which has quite a system for uh, roots and all these different colored key switches. It could be a little intimidating, but there's a way around it all, so let's get right to it. Uh, the first thing we have to do is create a generic um, expression map for uh, VSL. Very simple to do, and we'll do that in part one. All right, so here we are. We've created our track. Go to expression maps on the track that uh, you want to create an expression map, and just go down here and to here, expression map setup. Click that, and now we can make our expression map. Right here is the plus uh, little selector here. Click that, new map, and you can name it, uh, I'll just go VSL test, right? How many slots you create here with this plus button uh, is basically how many different articulations do you want to be able to pick from on any one track? The more the better, right? So if you're going to do this, do it at least 24. Uh, I'm going to do just three here just to show you how it's done. But literally, I, if I was you, I'd make one 24. I've done a 26. I have one at 59. You don't want to be restricted in any way. And that's exactly what this is about. So, But for demo, I'm going to show you how to do it with three. And then you can just take it from there and repeat the procedure. Very simple. So you create the slots. Uh, start at slot number one. And we know in VSL that if we want to have all our root uh, key switches all out of the way, and we want them all to be at, uh, say, minus C minus 1, which is right at the edge here. Um, depending on how you have it set up in your interface, uh, default is C4, and you can change that. But we're going to leave everything at default. So C minus 1 is where we want to start our mapping from. So very simple. We uh, we just go uh, C minus one here. So, but because there's an offset uh, in the VSL for some reason, just use C minus two inside when you're creating your um, expression map. I'm not sure why there's an offset. You could change it with your middle C, but I don't want to mess with that. Let's just do it this way, and you shouldn't have any issues. So down here double click and set this to C minus 2, your root note, C minus 2. And then if you had 24 slots, that will set them all up at C minus 2 immediately with this key here. And you could do it here too and just hit yes. So now they're all going to be set up at uh, C minus 2. And if we latch that, I'm not sure why slot 1 didn't... Uh, not sure why that didn't work there. Usually it, it starts at C minus two from slot one. Set remote keys. There, okay. I'm not sure why that happened, but now we're at C minus two at the beginning, and then it just sequentially goes down to how many slots you have. So that's done really quick with this button here, with the root note button. All right, so then all you have to do is make sure that every slot here has a corresponding output number uh, here. So just go slot here, add one there, hit this button, add one to there, add one to there. Now all slots have a note on number here. And then you just want to transfer this C minus 2, or whatever these numbers are, to that slot over here. So first one, double click here, and change that to C minus 2. Return, you're good for the first one. Second one, C sharp, double click again, so you got C sharp minus 2. Return, and the third one is, and you just follow these here, so you have guidance the whole way, so D minus 2. And that's D minus 2. And you go on, if you had 24 slots, you do them all this way, right? And you only have to do this once, so take the 10 minutes it's going to take to do this. 
So just double checking, they all correspond C minus two, C sharp minus two, and D minus two. Okay, we're good. Then go over here on the first one, hold that down, click that, add custom articulation, click that. Attribute is already set up. You could have it as directional. There are two different types and you can watch videos on that, but you can create any type you want. I like attribute and because it's so simple you just grab notes and you can assign them an articulation but there is a few limits to that but you have both here available and you can make a map for each and then go here and just set that to text and we want slot one just click in one return so very simple to do just go down here it's already set to attribute don't change that text and we go two and the third one again there and we go text and we go three so very simple to do then you save it right you save it out and um, I think just for demonstration well we'll just save this out uh, we'll save this and in the next section we'll get right into how this is applied right inside the VSL all right so we've done that now let's load it I've added one more slot here just to show clear how it's done but um, so the VSL test, so we go here and we load it up. Now it's loaded, we can close this. And now on this track, and you only have to do that once, so set that up once, make 24 slots and you're done. Now that will apply to any of the VSL libraries, BBO, the uh, synchronized, the uh, synchron stage, all the new ones. They're all handled the same way, so you really only have to make one map. Now. This is where it gets a lot more fun and interesting here because the power starts to show itself when you have a track and you have MIDI, <coughs> excuse me. Usually you have MIDI that is made up of uh, some medium notes, short notes, and some long notes. And you just simply want to be able to grab any articulation at any time and assign them to those notes. And this is the way it can be done. So right off the bat, we can, we've got uh, VSL Elite Strings loaded up here. And we can just um, say enable all slots to make things clear. Now, right now, we could, at this point, since um, we have the map loaded up on this track, um, if we grab some notes, this first group of notes, we already see that we have four options here. And those are going to line up to these four um, slots here, or how many slots you want. So immediately we're able to change to any four slots. And like I said, if you had a map with 20 or 6 or 30 slots, you could endless amount. But that's how it works. And you can quite easily double click on this and just change that to slot 1 so you never get um, you never get confused with exactly what slot is what. You just go one here and one is here. And in this case, um, if we wanted to have a bunch of slots um, all for short notes, because right now you might be thinking, well, okay, this this one slot here, only you can only choose one how are you going to get four or five different types of short notes from this one track with this system? Very simple. So since we know we can rename all these slots, let's just set it up the way I would do it. The way I would do it is I would, um, first of all, you go up here and you have to set this to note all the way to the left. Just do that. So you just go there, go to notes and right to the left. And that shifted all of these root note, uh, folders to the far left. C minus one. First step. Second step is get rid of any other colors of key switches. We don't need them anymore. That's the great thing about this. They're not needed. Go here to none, and you'll see them disappear. And they disappear. Now I can go to shorts. I can click copy slot down here. Highlight this and click Paste Slot, Paste Slot, Paste Slot. Now I have four, and you could do this ten times as many as you want. I have three new options for shorts with the complete 
roots folders and all the articulations and automations with them. Drag these up, right? And simply rename them now, double click, just go to number two and double click. This is slot three, so you, you're never lost for what slot it is. Uh, sorry, number three. And we might as well do this one, number four. All right. And now we can again just enable all slots to keep things clear. So now, because I got rid of all the other um, key switches, none will interfere. If you don't, you'll notice that if you, if you don't do that, these slots won't change. I could go through every slot and they would stay the same. But you can see here now I can put the first one to staccato short bold. Second one can be staccato agile. Third one can be uh, spiccato if you want bold. It can be anything you want, detache. And they all change and retain that as you switch through them. If you don't get rid of the extra key switches, and there's some over here, just get rid of them in case it's not messing this up now, but just to be sure, get rid of any key switches. So now um, you can name these exactly how you want, but the great thing is that's not in stone. You can change, you, you still have any articulation with all automation and the full tree available at any time, plus you can make clones of the ones you need even more precise control of. In this case, I want three or four different types of shorts. And remember, you can at any time, once you've done that, just go down to user and save it as your own preset. So in this case, I would call it um, uh, VSL or I just go elite uh, strings, violins, um, you know, 34 slot or just generic everything preset, right? And you're done. Then next time you just, instead of, you know, loading in the default one, you load in your preset. This is all set up and named and you could have you could have 10 different types of shorts, 10 different types of longs. As long as you can fit it in here, if you stretch it on your screen, you can still read the, the fonts here uh, up to like, I think I've had like 30 or 40, you know, slots worth. So it's really you're unlimited now what you can do. And each slot retains, like if you go to Legato, Agile, Auto Speed, all the um, automatic uh, processing still occurs. So if, if we use performance legato agile, and I set it to auto speed, um, and just to make sure nothing screws up, I can go here and set this to none, set this to none, get rid of any of the new uh, key switches that pop up. Remember, you only have to do that once, right? Um, but leave your controllers. Just leave your controllers. Just get rid of your colored key switches here. Just leave the control. And now auto speed will work when I switch on it to auto speed. It retains that. Set to auto speed and that all works. So now I can have any articulation at any time plus make clones of those articulations as many as I want and retain all automation all on one track, all saved to one preset with one generic um, uh, expression map that you never have to change or redo. So in the third part we're going to demonstrate this. Alright so let's demonstrate how this works. Um, on the first slot we're going to just stick with a staccato short bold. Second one will be something different so we can hear it with our ears so spiccato agile. Uh, third one will be a datache with a soft attack. And the fourth one I moved up, so I dragged it from down here. You can just drag it up because we only have four slots because I just did a quick demo of a four slot uh, expression map. But you wouldn't have to do that because you'd have like 24 or 30. Um, just to show that auto speed and the automatic uh, dimension control still works. So that's on slot number four, which I can just double click and just say uh, the new slot number four where it doesn't get confusing here. And this one, I could just get rid of that. All right, so, um, and then, you know, like I say, and this would be saved out and all saved, so you're, you're never doing anything twice. 
you just set it up once and then you're good to go boom boom and then you're literally grabbing notes so the first one we want articulation at number one so that's set up and we just sometimes the first time you do it you just want to make sure that it's set to one sometimes for some reason it sticks but and you can see it down here so it will say number one so that should be good number two we set it to articulation number two number three in fact I did this before so I'm going to just uh, get rid of all that and reset it all to one so it sets everything to none just so we can start completely from fresh so that so again just go to number one now it's all reset these are all number one now so slot number one that will be staccato short bold and number two and all these will be number three and all these plus the last long note will be number four so we should see some fast notes and then a long one and so that auto speed you should see that change there um, all right so then just play it let it play and then reset it just to make sure everything's kicked in in case um, you get any glitches sometimes you have to just play it reset it and then everything sets in so now it should go from one to two to three then to the longs and we should have a little bit of auto speed in there but the auto speed it may not have been uh, we got what we wanted but the auto speed uh, I don't think there was enough uh, change in the speed here so let's see if we can just change the note so I'm going to go in here just to double check uh, 16th notes and we're going to change some of these notes to and you can see hopefully you'll be able to see a shift in auto speed all right let's reset that Yeah, so it auto speeded the legato. You've seen it go up. So everything works the way um, intended. You see the shift there? So you retain all automation, the full folders, so every articulation available at any time. And you can have any amount of slots. You, there's no restraints as far as an attribute um, expression map. If you need to have a directional one, you could do the same thing with a directional map. And again, once once it's set up, like at this point, I might just rename things a little bit and then save it out as a preset and never have to do any of that twice again and literally just load the map, load the preset, grab notes, and have endless everything available at any time with articulations and automation and to be able to specialize if I wanted to add 10 different types of short slots here to specialize rename them and then save it out again but it's just it leaves the hassle of the uh, key switching behind so I hope you got something out of this video and possibly you have even a better way to do things and if you do be sure to comment let me know and i uh, hope you enjoyed your day and we'll catch you on the next video